So how are we all doing today? Today we are going to be playing some Evil Bank Manager. Evil Bank Manager is a game that I would like because one, it's about money and everybody likes money. Two, you're a bank manager, which again is money. And three, you have to be completely, utterly evil with no morals whatsoever. And that is absolutely fine by me. So if you don't know what Evil Bank Manager is, it's basically what the overall thing you have to do is you have to earn, earn, get, buy 51% of the IMF stake. That happens every 10 goes or so. You get like a thing that goes round and you have to stop on the amount that you want to pay if you've got that money, of course. And not always the AI will buy in straight away. So you have to try and sort of guess when's the best time for you to buy. Sometimes it could be way too early and you lose money or way too late and you lose out on the percentages, well, the, the stakes. You have 300 turns to do this. That's your ultimate goal. You can be these areas. I'm going to be the West, the Conqueror. I'm going to pick Medium because I'm useless at the game. You, you buy resources... So, you buy resources, sell resources, make weapons, sell weapons. If a competitor is at war, or is helping somebody at war, you can sell the other person weapons to help defeat them, crushing that competitor, stuff like that. I will skip the tutorial, and I'm going to be called Bank of Broke Me. Not a very good name for a bank, but it would do. Right, so here we are, Bank of Broke Me, which looks a little bit like italy i would gather first things first what we need to do right, we've opened a new country which is here island it's gonna cost us twenty thousand to get in so i've bought that we now gonna have well we can now like we now have a, we now have a bank here so we can start giving like, loans to ireland building stuff buying industry real estate luxury stuff farms investments like that we can also hire people so we need to hire an investment person investment people go with the i that's a useless investment person four but now we need somebody with, right, who helps us with our loans and that six perfect espionage you can do spying do different stuff like that two is not great Two is what I'm going to be stuck with. And guards. These are the like, these are your heavies. These are who you send to get your money back. Stuff like that. Remember, 300 turns. So we've hired people. We got 500 from that. We got 500 from that. And these are little, <clears throat> little things you have to do, like issue free loans. That'd be more than easy to do. If you want to issue a loan, you go here and you click on the open the building. We can't offer anybody any loans at the moment. So let's let's all, let's go about see if we can buy any industries or anything. We can't buy no industries at the moment. So let's just next move. And now we might be able to get a loan out. Yes. So loan defaults ten point five percent, profit per turn six point one percent. I give them a thousand, and then in one turn I get that money back. And if we go see what we can buy, we can buy some... Ah, fur. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. But you do get a lot of money back from fur, so I'm, I'm going to do that. If you want to try and do wood, wood is important. Wood, uh, iron, to make weapons. Once we start getting that, we can start making weapons. And if you can get weapons, that is perfect. You will make a lot of money from that. I'm sure you can only buy one building per turn. So that's something to look out for. When people are at war, it'll be here. And you can also help whichever side you want to help and be as evil as you want. Um, there's also science, which I, I always forget. It's one I always seem to forget the most. Uh, reduces manager salaries by 8%. Generates 100 fear per turn. 100 influence per turn. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, yeah. There's also... You have to keep your relationship pretty high. Bad things can happen otherwise. I've never had it go down low, so I can't really say what happens. So we'll just go next turn. Where are we now? 
Here we are. Send the guards. Look at that. Recover the money. I don't know what Tate does. I need to figure what that is. So no more loans. Let's see investment. Can we invest in something else? Grain. I'm not a massive fan of grain. You don't really get a lot of money from it. But I get it for the moment. Because sometimes you have like special events like famine. And I think you can sell your grain for a higher price. Which is all... Which is always good. I mean, you get a bit more money. Stone sells for a lot. It helps with upgrading your buildings as well. Because you can upgrade your buildings for a cost. And sometimes you don't need a cost if you've got the stone. But later on in the game, you need the stone and the cost. If you don't have both, then it's going to cost a hell of a lot. Also, I'm not that great. I've only done about 90 turns. I'm just playing. I wanted to try and play. Uh, more fur. Uh, and if you want to sell it, it's up here. It's stone and fur. That will give us 1,900. So I'm going to sell that now. Get a little bit of money back. I want to keep the stone going just for the moment. But I do want to get some wood. I need wood. According to the rumors, the minimum acceptable value of banks will soon change. All banks that are cheaper than this level will have to quit the big game. 1,000. I think that means they say I'm worth 34,000. More fur. All right, I'll do it for the moment. It was a, it's a good way of us trying to get some money. And I can get another loan out. Let's check what we got. Stone. Let's just sell that. Get a little bit of money back. I really do want wood. Yes, yes, perfect. We can start making weapons now. Which will help. The amount of money you make from selling weapons is an absolute joke. And I mean that completely. A joke. Well worth it. Right, now we can start building weapons. Crossbow seems to go for a lot. I'm not too sure on like, the price it's going to cost. But we've just made 70 crossbows. Yeah, we can't open a new country because we've already opened a new country, love. Oh, we can get another one for wood. Should we get another one for wood? I mean... What have we got? Let's check what we got. We have... Stone, wood... And fur. As I have a lot of money for fur. Can we sell fur? Yeah. 3,000 for fur. Which then... I can buy wood. So that means the next go, I will be able to... Like, start building more weapons. Also, you don't want to sell weapons here. Never sell weapons here. Stockpile the weapons as much as possible. Do it for war. You get so much more money from it. And overall, it will completely help you. And don't be worried if you have a slow start. I mean, I know some people might know the way around. I've had a slow start. Why did he tell me to open another country? I've already opened the country. That's slightly annoying. It's because I never went... Uh, what we got? Oh, yeah, more weapons. See, now we can build 87 instead of 70. We are producing more wood. Also, if the region in which your property is in comes under war, you don't get no resources from that. So the more you help that, the better. Otherwise, you might lose a certain amount of stuff and you don't want to do that so i think if you lose that region then the value of your businesses shoot right down i could be wrong i'm sure that's what i read it's that time to open a new country i've already done it invest in property gold again let's make some of these so we stop piling weapons which is going to help us a lot um, this is locked till later. I mean, these are like special missions that get locked. We have got a farm, haven't we? Or did we... No, we sold the farm. Surely we could sell the resources. Okay. How much money are we going to have now? Headquarters. We can't upgrade it just yet. We need one more region. And I think that's about 20,000. 
Sand, the selling price of a property depends on the large number of parameters, the, the prosperity of the region, the state of this industry in the region and others. These price modifiers are different in different regions. Therefore, the property also has a base price, wherever the price is in the usual average region. So one stuff might be cheaper in one region than it is the other. Always check this grain. I don't really want grain. Grain's not that great. But you know what I mean? If you've got the money, use it. I'm not sure what turn you start having to pay or improve your relationship yet. I can create more weapons. Do you know what I keep forgetting to do? I do it all the time. Forgot to issue loans. Always issue loans. Improve your, improve your relation in your country to level respect. One more turn. See what we can do here. Oh, we are slowly going up there. Open a new country. I will open a new country. I just can't do it just yet. I'm going to stop piling weapons at the moment. See what we can sell here. Don't really want to sell stone just yet, but I will. There we go. 13,000. We're starting to make a little bit of money now. We have nothing to buy. Next move. No more properties in this region. We, need to, we really do need to open up another region. Let's have a look. Where can we open up? See, that's 130,000. 20,000. We haven't got 20,000. I mean, we could sell the furs. But the furs gives us a lot of money. To sell the fur. Uh, luxury. It's 24,000, but it gives us gives us a lot of money. Um, is it worth selling it? Or do I wait for like a few more goes just to get that fur up to sell itself? Because that's a thousand. I wait for a few more goes. See, I've got nothing at the moment. Wait for the loans to come in, issue a loan. One more go. issue that loan let's see what it, what we get for selling this four thousand sell it yeah do you know what i'm gonna do just for the sake of it i'm gonna sell really didn't want to do that i need to open up another region the region that just got took over by france nice Should open up, uh what have you got no luxury resources 20,000. What have you got? Silk, I think that is. Let's open you. Go back to capital. We can upgrade the headquarters now. Which is something we need to do. We're going to cost us 600 because we are lacking certain things. That's fine. Right, now I'm going to leave this one here. We will carry on. I really am enjoying this game. This game is brilliant. I was playing it earlier. I was hooked on it for hours. I wasn't meant to play it for hours. I was meant to just get a tester of it. I think I'm doing everything all right so far. It's going a little bit different to how I did it last time. But um, I think last time I didn't buy another region. So like turn 25 or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Hit that like button, hit that follow button. If you want to see me live stream, because I do live stream on Twitch, my Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash someone broke me. Check my Instagram out. I'm going to be posting clips and funny videos of stream or whatever happens there. So that's someone broke me on Instagram. And my Twitter is someone underscore broke me because someone else says someone broke me, which is really annoying. Cheers for everyone for watching. I really do enjoy this game. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really do hope you do hit that like button. If not, then I hope you return for the next video. I'll see you all soon.